Ah. Ah, the man himself is in the chat. Excellent. Greetings, mortars, and happy Monday to you and your kin. Today's painting goo is dedicated to a very honorable patron of painting goo. To Waker in Dibaru has recently suffered a bereavement in his family. And so, today's painting goo shall be all about throwing chi and positive energy towards him and his kin. If you have any honor, you will send many blessings to Tuaker and Iberu. Oh. I wonder if the mic can pick up my spina realizing what time it is. And so, first, order of the day on painting goo. On a Monday, you, we must gather our chi. How's the sound? The sound appears where so. It should be okay. To begin gathering chi. Can't gather chi without tunes. Well, you can, but not on painting goo. Spinal cracking goo. Indeed. I had, a, I had a decent workout this morning. And I am I'm not as stiff as I usually am. Japo Knights, gather around, for it is time for painting. Indeed it is. It is Monday, -o, and it is Triu, and it is time for painting. -o. So, let us begin. A Frex of the Fan. I hope you all had a good weekend. For a new week is ahead of us. A new week of not just painting. -o. But rife, rife in general. You must gather your chi, not just for painting goo, but for the days ahead. <laughs> What's the crack? That would be Defender who's back. <laughs> That's actually brilliant. What's the crack? That would be Defender who's back. <laughs> My spina knows it's timer for painting goo. It's time to gather our chi. For over the next two hours, we will set sail for Siberia. Dwaker Indy Barrow has been pleading with me to set sail for Siberia. Why? I don't know. It's mainly white. You know, I could just put some black lines on the canvas and call it a day, but I won't, because I'm a, I am a regend. I am a semi-deity, a demi-god, and as such, I must uphold certain duties. My duty here on Earth, as of a few years ago, since my banishment from the glorious horrors of heaven, is to paint for you, mere mortars, to bring you daily entertainment in the form of art and fart. Occasionally, I may belch, rant, sip sip. From time to time, I may just put the fan down and the brush and just bitch about rife. But this is all ahead of us for now. It is time for painting goo! Ah, that feels good, doesn't it? Supercharge your day with some chi fro. Painting goo! Painting goo! Painting goo! Painting goo! Painting you! Painting me! It's painting goo! 
Let's fucking go. Painting you. Painting me. It's painting goo. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Mmm. Glorious. I feel the chi burning in my spina. For it is tree and it is timer. Carlos, come, tell the people their duties here on Pig Dingo. Garros, my 800 pound, formerly addicted to cocaine, tiger. Garros Cocaina is his name. And he, on Painting Goo, carries the duty of reminding you, feeble foreign mortars, foreign dogs, to like and subscribe to Painting Goo, or I will remove his bucket and sunglasses and fling him at you, and you will regret it. Thrash that Reich button, cut it into fine pieces, then assemble it again and smash it again. For gathering chi, riking and subscribing, and paying for painting goo is all you should be concerned with for the next two hours. Whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, whatever you're thinking, whoever you're touching, we now painting goo. Erase all else from your mind. I don't care what you're rifting, I don't care what you're sewing, I don't care what you're speaking, thinking, doing, saying, cutting, wrenching, pushing, killing, defending, thwarting, scheming. Here on Painting Goo there is only one thing you should be thinking of, and that's paying for Painting Goo! The rink is in the description. To support this glorious stream, it is up to you, mere mortars. Oh, my chi is nearly there. Perhaps a sip will help my chi fro from tip to toe. Oh, God. Ah, glorious Agua. The Universer. Uh. Servant. Oh. My chi is working its way through every porous uh. structure in my being. Any gaps in energy flow must be feared with chi in order to perform painting goo to the degree that I demand painting goo to be performed at. Greetings worldwide, chat humans. How dare you describe our beautiful realm as a world? How dare you, sir? Earth realm is that it is a realm. A realm. <laughs> it take much chi to carry duties <laughs> like Brother Carlos. <laughs> duties. <laughs> oh god. What do you what do you think is more of a challenging task on painting goo? Being Garlos or being brother Is it Tiberius or is it Titus? I can't remember. Is it Titus? Tiberius? Titus? I think it was Titus. Titus! Beacus! Crowus! Our resident feathery friend. Guards are a little gong there. I don't have a gong, I have a dong. Because it doesn't go dong, it goes ding. So, that's a thing. The thing is, my gong doesn't go dong, it goes ding. <coughs> See what I mean? I have a tiny gong. Here on Painting Goo, my ego is constantly checked. I am forever humbled by the fact that my gong is tiny. And then we have our little brother. 
Ritter Beru, purveyor of the Mapu. I want to get a flat earth map just because it'd be funnier. But I also need to get some kind of like rotisserie device to slap the map onto so it, I can rotate it. But we'll get there. Just like the recent edition of the Boom Arm Mica. <laughs> Like, seriously, like, look how ridiculous this thing is. I got, like, a studio-level mic. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this thing, like, trying to move it out of the way constantly. Like, there is no... The nature of painting goo is such that, like, there is no optimum rotation for the mica. The micu. The mic. The mic. There is no optimum location. I have tried, I have tried many a time out to find an optimum location for, for the mica. Perhaps it is here, I don't know. But occasionally I will have to rein across. Maybe then I'll just get very a ASMR with it. When I'm like this it'll just be like, I shall caress the mic with my armpit while I stroke the canvas beautifully. <laughs> Right. One of the many P's of painting goo is preparation. And how do we prepare for painting goo? Apart from 15 odd minutes of gathering chi, we get our bitches wet. That's how we prepare for, 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 for painting goo. So many P's. Painting goo. And I, as this is a new painting goo, I think we should start with the big bitch. I still haven't fished the really big bitch from the back of the table, which I really should do, because she's a beautifully fat bitch. She's very wide. Arouse me to cover the canvas in record timer. But I still have some pretty big bitches. So these are my bitches. They are my brushes. They are my bitches. They are embodiments of my feminine side. That's why I refer to them as my bitches. You cannot paint with a masculine tool. And a brush is a feminine tool, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and paint with a katana, although I would love to try that. Hmm, perhaps painting go should become some sort of broad sport. Perhaps I should start every stream with a sacrificial pig slaughtering and use the beautiful little piggy's blood to prepare the canvas. Perhaps. Perhaps. I will think upon this. I know you humans can be very sensitive to certain things. Everything from who would win between one fictional character and another to what color panties to wear on a certain occasion. I don't care. I'm a demigod. I have seen, heard, felt, and done things that you can only dream of. So a lot of your sensitivities I find not only petty, but just downright unnecessary. And raffable. So, this bitch. This bitch will be the first bitch. I will get this bitch wet, and we shall begin painting. As I crammed at the beginning of this streamer, we are off. Can you hear it? Can you hear me getting the bitch wet? Can you hear it? Can you hear me beating the bitch? I almost forgot my royal rag to be placed upon my divine knee. Why? To clean up all the evidence of the bitch creedy. Gotta wipe your bitch ass somewhere. Right, okay. The bitch is now wet. The goo is on the parrot. I have previously roded the parrot. 
I like I have to I have to do a painting go of just like a road with a fucking parrot on it. Like it's just like I think I might turn that into a t-shirt. Big bottom brushes make the rockin' world go round. <laughs> Indeed, Brother Desmondu. Where would we be without big, broad, wider bitches? We would be rust without them. This mica. Oh, shit. This mica is gonna take some time to get used to her. Okay. I shall place it here, and we shall see how that fares. The bitch is sufficiently wet, and we know where we're going. Siberia, at the behest of Two, two Acre Indie Barrow. We are traveling to the Rand of Whiteness. And I don't mean race. I mean that uh, frothy white stuff that falls from the heavens. You know what that means? It's time to dance with some demons! In another life, I am probably a talk show host. Or one of those things like, you know, it's time to do, 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 do nothing! Hello, and welcome to get the fuck off my stream. Stop selling your shit on my stream. Be gone for demons. Those are not the demons I like. The only demons I like are the fun, dancey ones. Right. Perhaps I should reeve that cable. So many cables. Cable, Goobla. <coughs> oh, pardon me. When the agua mixes with all the coffee I drink in the morning, I tend to get a bit burpy. Plus, I think all the talking, like, fry baits my diaphragm and moves shit around. Paint, paint! Right. Paint, paint! We are off to Siberia. I'm going to start with a... Uh, brown wash. A burnt sienna wash. Paint, paint. Because the canvas is white, so I'm going to make it brown so that we can paint in some white mountains and some fruffy white crowds and backgrounds and such. And we are going to... What was the plan? Yes! A Siberian bear... Uh... Metal gig. That's what we're doing. I know, I mean, I could, like, if I wanted to be a dick about it, I could just be like, Behold! Siberia! Pay for painting goo and just turn it off. <laughs> Many thanks for the tunes on Friday, you. I could still get my head bobbing exercise. <laughs> It's like, could you, could you, like, that seems like a pure Indian yogi thing to do, that, like, he just wakes up in the morning and just does this 250 times, and it's like, ah, I am healthy again. <laughs> Garlosu, always ready to take the pisu. That extra day off really did much to increase chi. Yeah, like, I needed it. Like, sometimes I can't do a full week because I've got other shit to do, you know? I'm not there yet where I can, like, consistently do painting you Monday to Friday, two hours a day, like, all the time without it interfering with the rest of my work and stuff, like, you know? Um, like, the fucking desk was, like, you know, up at an angle and shit because I'm still working on that symmetrical and stuff. So, like, even the five odd minutes it takes to rearrange everything is like something that I artistically think about that like cuts into my uh, routine and all this shit like trying to get scans of things or like trying to take pictures or photos on the phone of like all the projects that I'm working on and shit and have like images of everything then I need to email them over to the laptop like and 
there's a, a lot of the a lot of the like technical like uh, managerial logistical you know uh sitting on a laptop and clickety clicking scrolling and files and all that shit like i fucking hate that you know like i fucking i hate what i would term as like office work or marketing or networking and emails and all this fucking shit i can't stand it uh, well, it's not that I can't stand it. I just find it incredibly tedious. You know, it's not like it pisses me off. It just bores me. Um, which is something I've always struggled with. If something bores the tits off me, I'm like, this has no use. Like, <laughs> get it out of my life. I need it not, paint, paint. Right, so. Some burnt tits. We will make a brown and go to town. Paint, paint. Uh, no, I don't need red. I need yellow. That's what I need. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. So the Irish referendum is the talk of the town over the weekend. We voted no, no when they wanted us to vote. Yes, yes. This is good. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take the wins, you know, even, even the small ones. Like, yes, I mean, doesn't really make a big difference on the grand scheme of things. I don't know. Maybe it will. But public opinion is changing. And this is good. I now bereave, once again, in the power of the public. I was quite nihilistic a few years ago, you know. About four or five years ago, before I was living here in Tipperary with my beautiful female my then girlfriend now fiance oh that wasn't me farting that was the tube of paint farting just if, I, if anyone's like you dirty irish bastard but i am i am a dirty irish bastard <laughs> well technically i'm not a bastard <laughs> I'm like, although you never know my family's lied a lot <laughs> well somebody's my father I suppose. well bastard is like a title isn't it you know uh, out of wedlock and all that shit. The bastard son. That I am not. At least I think so. I could be wrong. I'll ask my daddy. <laughs> you better. You're you're better off asking the mother about shit like that. Like you always are. My ma always knows. Like birthdays. And fucking. Who had it out with who? And like fucking. There's always something going on in the family where the mother is like dog wide to it and the, everyone else is like, what is going on? The details, the devil, the diver, the diver is in the details. Sometimes speaking Japu, like just attempting to speak Japu, completely and utterly like retards my mind for a moment. Sometimes, with like in a, in the intent of like, you know, remaining in character for the two hours of painting goo, attempting to maintain the illusion that I am indeed demigod Defenderu, banished from heaven. If anybody's been watching Painting Goo for a wrong time, you know that the Monkey King and I are not on good terms. <laughs> but, despite my bitterness, I am learning. I am learning what it is not to be human, to be a demigod. He wasn't, he wasn't, like, I must, I must be grateful. You know, I must be grateful. They allowed me to keep my painting goo skills. Well, most of them. You should have seen how good I was when I was in heaven. Well, I was pretty much the same skill, except I could make things come alive, you know. I can only imagine how fun it was to paint something and then just watch it fly off the canvas and murder a monkey. Oh, 
We might need a squirt or two. Squirt, 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 squirt. That was more than two. Yes, I know. I can count. Fuck you. We make it a browner. Then we can pick out like you know highlights and lowlights. How's that? How's that ASMR on the on the canvas? Can you hear that shit? Can you hear me stroking? <laughs> <laughs> How audible are my strokes? <laughs> As I squirt on the parrot. <laughs> like, oh my god, what the fuck is he doing? Is he like masturbating on a f <laughs> on an exotic bird? <laughs> like how dare you? I'm performing painting you. Get your mind out of the gutter. I might have to put a plastic bag over the mic in case the fucking thing gets like. Oh no, it's okay. My apologies if me touching the mic there caused a load of audio friction or some shit. I am not exactly what you would call a expert at professional streaming shit. <laughs> I don't know. Although, who is? <laughs> what is a stream? What a throw of consciousness. I must say, without sounding too arrogant, this is a beautiful shade of browner. Here to the bulldog clips that I've put in. And I put in, put on. And it won't warp too much. Because I still have large pages there that I'm like, right, I need to use these, like, you know. But there is so there's so many advantages to working on a canvas. How dare you interrupt my thought stream with your free Advertisements for shite that nobody needs. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. <coughs> oh, yeah. I have become fond of this. Human phenomenon of belching. It's quite fun. Paint, paint. For eons, I knew nothing about the simple joys of farting, belching, squeezing out a shit first thing in the morning. I've become quite fond of these things. At first, I was horrified by the apparently necessary biological movements and happenings of being human. Although, being a demigod, I don't really feel much pain. Only pleasure. Nothing really gets me down, you know. I'm still half god after all. Like I said, Many of the things that you mortals bitch and complain about on a daily basis, it means nothing to me. I just painting. Cue me getting my first bout of diarrhea and changing my mind completely. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the, the idea of like a demigod just like having to experience what it is to like to, not even be fully human, just half human. You know, like these sensations, they are interesting. <laughs> My stomach is talking to me. I've only had a banana today. Had a banana for breakfast. And two cups of coffee. And two cigarettes. <laughs> Have porridge there. It's just one of those things where it's like, you know. It's not like just sticking a bit of toast in the toaster, like, you know. Especially when you use the pot for something the night, the evening or night previous and it's still in the dishwasher or some shit, like, the dishwasher hasn't been put on. You're just like, oh, for fuck's sake, I just need to make some breakfast. So instead, you just reach for a banana. Like a proper monkey. Painting. Goo goo. I'm gonna need more browner. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint brown. Make brown on canvas only, please. You're the only one that thinks of that firth when I mention that I'm making brown. Whenever I, whenever I think of making brown, I just, I just think of soil or making brown paint. You know, I'm not a filthy-minded. What are you again? American? Canadian? Nigger? <laughs> Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Can, like, you know, with the whole, like, identity shit the last few years and all, like, has, I'm sure, surely somebody, uh, tried doing the whole thing of, like, uh, well, I identify as a nigger. There had to be someone that did that, like, you know? Paint, paint. Like, that would have been hilarious, like, going into, like, like going into school and being, like, you know, well, I, I'm pansexual, I'm this, and I identify as an attack helicopter, fucking, like, yeah, well, I'm a nigger. <laughs> if you, if you don't refer to me as a nigger, I will be offended. <laughs> paint, paint. <laughs> Get a parent-teacher meeting over that shit, like... <laughs> What seems to be the issue? Well, he refuses to refer to me as my proper title. What's that? I'm a nigger. <laughs> I've always felt like a nigger. <laughs> I behave like a nigger. I think like a nigger. <laughs> I'm a fucking nigger. You just, you just won't refer to me. As <laughs> I'm offended. He's not validating my identity. <laughs> <laughs> like getting it, getting it in writing, like on a contract, like you should, like I hereby vow to forever refer to you as your proper title, i.e., nigger. <laughs> like in this case, it's such an it's like it's a nice word. It's not a like whatever about its connotation from like retards and all this shit and propaganda like uh trigger bigger you know like it's like it's it's got that like it's it's an it's nice phonetically you know why do you think the blacks fucking uh took advantage of it and were like you know they just took out the r and put it like nigga like it's one of those things, it's like fucking when 
people call each other bro or dude or like, you know. The whole term of endearment thing is so true where it's like, like, me and my white Irish friends used to call each other, like, still do. Like, I still call, like, people who are, like, really, like, like, my homies, I still call them, like, niggas. <laughs> That's my nigga. <laughs> like, I love it, like. <laughs> paint, paint. I saw I'd fucking man I'd I'd love for someone to try and pick me apart in terms of like am, am I culturally appropriating or being racist or something it'd be so funny <laughs> I'm like sitting here wearing a fucking I'm Irish and I'm sitting here dressed in a kimono and headband painting and talking about like niggers <laughs> like a black color like, oh man uh one of the female bears uh, that like went offline for a while, she came back there. She was like getting a transplant or something like. Uh, shout out to Demolish if she shows up um, today. She was like, "Oh, fucking can't wait for painting you." Um, I don't see her in the chat though. Uh, it was so funny. She brought up like Resident Evil. We were talking. Well, first she brought up like that the guy who created Dragon Ball Z died there recently. Um, Shout out to that nigga. <laughs> like, that nigga that died. <laughs> but I was, I, I, I thought it was so funny, like, uh, I put it in the bearer chat. Because it just, it's, it's always something that I've experienced. Well, not that I've experienced it, rather. It's like, uh, that I've witnessed. Always something that I've noticed. And I thought it was really cool. Um, like a cultural phenomenon where, like, you have all these inner city black kids in America who like fucking love anime and Dragon Ball Z and like uh, all, all of the Chinese martial arts movies and like, like all the, and the samurai movies, you know? So, like, the whole fucking concept of like cultural appropriation, like, you have all these fucking blacks in America. That are pro like pro a lot of them are probably liberal, like, and a lot of them probably d have said something like, you know, you can't wear uh, braids in your hair. That's a black thing, like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's culturally appropriating our culture and all this fucking woke, retard shite. Um, when they they probably watch anime, you know, it's like, is that not cultural appropriation? Like, is it like, or or they they probably like wear anime runners or like have like an anime fucking hoodie or something you know like and like maybe they own a katana do you know what i mean like you know like now granted like the guy the guys i'm talking about and gals you know the 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 niggas and the bitches the what are they niggers and i, I say niggerettes because i think it's funny but it's like niggresses he was a negress. Remember that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? <laughs> Where Frank's just like, She was a negress. <laughs> like, <laughs> this, this is one of the first times I ever heard the female form of nigger. <laughs> I was like, That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like Duke and Duchess. <laughs> nigger and negress. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. I love language. It's so funny. Oh god. But yeah, I've I've always thought that shit was just really cool the way that like you have like think like look at Afro Samurai. If you've never heard of Afro Samurai, uh Afro Samur Samurai is an anime where it's a black guy voiced by fucking Sa Samuel L. Jackson and it's all about like Japanese anime lore in the sense that like, you know, he's wearing a fucking headband, he's wielding a katana, but he's got an afro and he's always smoking what looks like a doobie, but like could just be a big, huge fucking loosely rolled cigarette. Um, but I, I, I love it. Like, yeah, I, I love Afro Samurai. I love... Uh, well, I'm not actually a massive fan of Dragon Ball Z and that's not because I don't think it's good or anything. It's just, I... Uh, I was never patient enough to watch episodes of that because they there was always like so much exposition. They were always like charging a fucking fireball attack for like three fucking episodes and talking to each other and shit. Um, I didn't have the patience for it, but I I whoops, I kind of get. Like uh, like I understand why uh, why other people would have the patience for it. 
and thoroughly enjoy it and all this stuff like because like a lot of it's fucking hilarious a lot of the dialogue's so fucking funny like um but i i was more into samurai jack samurai jack was my thing fucking love samurai jack i remember the first time i seen the episode of samurai jack with the 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 scotsman you i samurai you can't eat defeat me, Samurai! He's standing there with a bag of fucking golf balls. <laughs> that are like, they're like explosive golf balls. I think he has like, multiple different golf balls. Like explosive ones, timed, uh, timed explosive ones. So he has like impact grenade ones, timed ones. And fucking various other like gadgets and such. And it's like... Uh, Samurai Jack in that episode is just trying to get across a bridge and this guy's like in his way uh, It's like one of the coolest fucking things I remember from my childhood was just watching that episode and being like this is hilarious <laughs> Like it's such a good fight scene. It's really funny like the way the character the, the Scottish guy the way he's drawn is fucking so funny like he's got tiny legs but like a massive torso and huge arms and like He's got a, I think he's got a ponytail and a massive beard and shit, like, and he's just swing, swinging golf ball after golf ball at Samurai Jack, and Samurai Jack is, like, you know, doing the, the ninja run and fucking swinging his katana and deflecting them and shit and slicing some of them in half. And it's, like, it's so cool, like, you know, it's, like, uh... That's why I liked Samurai Jack, was like, it was short and to the point. I think the episodes were only like 15, 20 minutes long a piece. And uh, it was always just like a day in the life of Samurai Jack. Like the overall theme was he's trying to get back to the past. Uh, because he's been flung far into the future where the bad guy, uh, Aku, uh, now runs everything. Like uh, I did the like I, I did the intro before on one of the streams because I love it. Like it's like you know, wrong ago, a foolish samurai warrior. <laughs> I I can't remember the whole thing. Like, but I love Aku's voice. It's so good. Like, wrong ago, in a distant land, I, Aku, shape shifting master of darkness. <laughs> A foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. It's fucking brilliant, like. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. I think I'm actually going to wave the fan for a while and let this dry because I'm after getting this canvas really wet. Ooh, dirty. Paint, paint. Take it, bitch. Paint, paint. Okay. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Imagine if you were, uh, imagine if you were born with a different accent from your father. Didn't matter if you were white. St st still, still caught, still caught out. That child doesn't sound like. That child doesn't sound like woman. Me, me woman? I have no idea what you're on about, Antonio. Those two, those two chat messages there, I'm like, imagine if you were born with a different accent. That would be hilarious. If you were born with a different accent to your father. Didn't matter if you were white. Like, <laughs> like if, well, like, you see, that's what I think is funny about gingers as well. Like, never mind blacks. It's like, uh, Imagine being me dad has like, you know, brown, he's got a bit of ginger in his beard, like, but he's got like brown hair, you know, like dark brown hair, nearly, nearly brack, nearly brack, and, uh, like, this is, this is how you dry stuff, you know, fuck hair dryers, hair dryers are for pussies, um, that child doesn't sound like woman, me woman, who's, what child? There was a child. There was a child on this stream. Was it an ad? Was it? <laughs> now we know. Now we know he was kicked out of, head of, out of heaven for stroking too loud and skirting. 
<laughs> and so like it eventually the storyline eventually unfolds that I wasn't kicked out of hev- the halls of heaven for painting the monkey king's uh, portrait which inevitably meant that everybody got to see his penis and how tiny it was no it wasn't that at all like it was it was how loud I was stroking and squirting while painting while doing painting go <laughs> You can just imagine one of the other gods in heaven just being like, All day! All goddamn day! All I can hear is... Paint, paint! <laughs> squirt, squirt! <laughs> oh, it'd be so funny, like... Imagine getting kicked out of heaven because you're really annoying. <laughs> like, that would be... Imagine how much that it's suck like imagine trying to recover from that emotionally like you know, like you're you're in heaven and all the god and you're a god and all the other gods get together like secretly even the ones that you think that they like you they all get together on the sly and petition to have you removed from heaven because they find you really annoying Oh my god, that'd be so embarrassing and humiliating and like sad. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's one of those things that, like, if you made that scene correctly, it could be like, <clears throat> it could be both. Like, some people would watch it and find it incredibly, like, like a tearjerker. They would find it incredibly, like, uh, upsetting because, you know, he doesn't understand. Like, like you, you, you think I'm annoying? But, uh, but all I do is paint. <laughs> like, just make it like really sad like, but it'd still be hilarious <laughs> oh god I had a thought there recently that like we could do something similar to that where like uh, I was telling I was telling the female about it and she thought it was funny where like uh, eventually the storyline of painting you will unfold that I'm the monkey king and I've and I, and they banished me, and I made I made up Defenderu, this painting god, you know, like as like an alter ego or some shit, like. And it turns out that I'm the Monkey King, and it would make sense because like I brought the monkey, I brought a monkey with me, like you know, like instead of like, oh, I don't know, like I'm I I actually do want to flesh that out, because when I do the book of painting goo and. For anyone who who doesn't know already, I I plan on doing a, a thing called the Book of Painting Goo, with various chapters, and they're just gonna like, it's it's gonna look fucking beautiful and slick on the outside, the cover to it, like, so it's even more hilarious when you open it and all the painting goos are like child's drawings. <laughs> like, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take photos or scan like all the painting goos. And uh, and then like print them off in like probably like A4 maybe or like you know fucking something the size of like a copy book or something, <clears throat> and try and put it all like bind it all together myself and like I'll try and make it as like handmade as possible while still being like decent quality and good and all like and uh, I'll do the the first book of painting you. I don't know how like I've got like so many painting goos there like so I might do like. What do you think? Like, will I throw, like, the first hundred in or some shit? I don't know, like, the first fifty? I don't know. Because, like, I've got I've got enough to make... I think I've got enough to make the, the first book of painting goo. But I think it'd be hilarious if, like, I did, an, like, three pages of, like, an introduction at the start or something. Like, like what is painting goo? <laughs> no. Wrong, I'll go. <laughs> I... Defenderu, painting god of heaven, was cast out. <laughs> oh, there's the man himself, Two Acre in Deaver. How are you, boss? I have dedicated the next few episodes of Painting Goo to you. We are off to Siberia, as you have requested. And I am going to do a bare uh, heavy metal concert. With the, mount- with the mountains of Siberia in the background. Iron Man Baru, welcome o, to Painting Goo. How are you? 
I think I have sufficiently dried the canvas. A moment while I turn off the heating. It's been on a while. Don't want to waste the electricity. I heard, I heard, I heard. A moment, a moment. Defender ass. Oh. I heard <clears throat> I heard of your unfortunate news and I am deeply wounded to hear of your bereavement bereave me <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that bro this shit sucks but I have resigned myself to being as energetic and full of chi or chi as I can to honor you this fine Monday, to uplift your spirits. We are off to Siberia and we are going to paint some bears enjoying some matter. I hope that is, that is all I can do, you know. That is what I do. I will paint you something. I hope that is enough to alleviate your merinkari. The canvas looks like a rusty door now. <laughs> Some people are never happy. We're going to Siberia? We'll just leave a white then, it'll be fine. No, I'm going to paint it brown so that I can, you know, do art artsy things. Well, now it looks like a rusty door. Well, fuck you, Dick Fordu. <laughs> I hope you walk into a rusty door face first. <laughs> All those Hollywood kids have pretty good Spanish accents, I bet. <laughs> um, your burn would get kicked out. I wonder how... Uh, is he doing okay? I've, like, I haven't heard anyone speak about him in a while. I'm sure he's fine. Small hospital completely bricked. Catastrophically. Ten-year-old niece saw the whole thing. Uh, oh, she saw everything? Damn. That's rough. I'm painting you myself. I don't know what else to do. Well, that's it, man. Like, you know, in order to... What you need, what you need to do in, in times like this, what I have learned anyway, throughout my 32 years of being a mortal, um, <coughs> demigod, I mean, sorry, apologies. Um, in moments like this, like you know, where you lose people and stuff like that, like like I, I've always naturally found like funerals and all the sadness and all the crying and stuff like that. Uh, I I found it to be uh, unnecessary. And like, actually, like counterproductive. I I agree with those cultures that celebrate death. Um, similar to that uh, Muslim fella who was like, you know, thanking God that his ch uh, his sons um, were now with with God. You know, um, it's it. You know, to most people, it can sound utterly crazy. You're like, what the fuck? Like, how can you not feel sad? It's like it's not that you don't feel the pain or the sorrow. It's that you choose to you choose you choose to, ju just like you would like you know the whole Jedi thing with like Darth Vader and all the like Luke like let me feel your anger Skywalker. Um, instead of allowing the sadness to turn to like possibly to despair or something and it controlling your mood, you actively choose to be uh, stalwart, to be steadfast, to be stoic, or even to take the piss. I prefer to take the piss. <coughs> like, it's, it can be almost impossible, if not like difficult to do with other people. But for me, like, do you know, I always think of something funny, like, you know, it's like, <laughs> like, today of all days, that fucker owed me money. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I try to just take the piss, like, but yeah, yeah, you, what I'm trying to say is like you, you can alchemize it. You can alchemically shift your anger or your sadness 
or your grief or your pain or whatever you can like just breathe through it and use your god-given free will to choose to like and i think that's i think that's a like it's kind of like that how the irish do it like an irish wake is like we have the body there and then like we'll all get like pissed drunk and like yeah there's lots of crying and shouting but there's, and there's like fighting and shit usually like do you know what I mean but it's like it's almost like you know like you know uh work it working it out you get like you get through it whereas like i think culturally in the west like a lot of people like like i i see a lot of this where they're like you know facebook posts where it's like 15 years ago my sister died and it's like all right like, get over it like do you, know, do you think do you think those sort of like uh thoughts and uh, behaviors is conducive like if you do believe in an afterlife and your sister's consciousness or soul is somewhere do you think she likes to see you still uh feeling the sadness of her death like do you know what i mean like i doubt it i doubt it very much like you know and i know it's a, like that's a hard like, that's a hard one is like uh he was a father and a, and a husband and he's got he's like the child saw it all and stuff like that but it's like if you don't choose to kind of tr try and see the silver lining especially in times like that it can cause uh the trauma can be like not everlasting sometimes it can be everlasting but the trauma can be much more difficult to eventually overcome you know um damn man that's brutal sending love your way but yeah like the the kids saying it is fucking harsh but it's like it's like other things as well it's like what it initially can be utterly traumatic uh can actually turn out to your advantage you know but then the the negative side is you can be certain you can be kind of like desensitized to certain things like i've never seen somebody die in front of me well no i have my granny my mother's mother passed away in front of like eight of us but it was one of those like you know she's old she's in a bed like you know like the sickness did come across very quickly but i've never seen somebody just like drop dead in front of me like um the female didn't see me drop dead but the female saw me like pass out all of a sudden when i got that hernia and she like i woke to her i, I woke up to her like being over me looking at me being like you know, like, I, ha I had the whole effect of, like, it sounded like I was wearing headphones. And I could see her being like, Alex, are you okay? Uh, but what I heard was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, like, and I'm like, I'm still coming too. <laughs> you know. The, fe the female's been traumatized a lot by various things. I've been traumatized a lot by various things. Um, Like I said on previous streams, I think, like, that's, like, I think that's what's wrong with... The like especially the west but like you know obviously society at large like you know it's not like the asians don't have problems and stuff but like we're just so traumatized we're so infantilized and so traumatized you know that's why all this like stoic stuff is so big on youtube where it's like you have all these young men trying to find like direction in life and trying to learn how to like deal with shit on, a, on an emotional level like you know because like we are capable of that and that's what we're designed to do. We're designed to be able to do like insanely stressful stuff, you know. Women aren't in, in the same way. Like you know, you put a the fe like uh, the female doesn't uh, like she won't ring. She won't order Chinese. And apparently, this is a female thing, you know. Like, but like I th I see it as like a weird like fucking neurotic oddness where like i like if anytime we're ordering takeout i have to order it unless she can just do it on like an app and just click things she hates ringing to order food and it's like one of those like anxiety things or some shit corbear you can tell me if like this is a female thing or not like i think it's hilarious i think it's ridiculous and, it, and it's hilarious but it like it makes sense in a in a, in a way like because females are just like way more susceptible to like emotional trauma and mental trauma and stress and all this stuff like and uh doing stuff under pressure and like what with a lot of people watching you and shit like you know
know, but that doesn't mean there aren't females that can, like, you know, do awesome shit in front of people. Like, you know, it's like, it's always those law of averages things. Because you'll say something and then people will be like, that's not true. My, my sister is fucking, this, this. it's like, it's in general, law of averages. Like, you know, the most common, like, whatever, like, it's how you can define shit. Like, seriously, people are just so retarded these days, like. My girl also hates to call for takeout. Like, what, what, like, uh, like, what is that? Like, that's like, what the fuck? Griffu! Congratulations, Griffu, on your recent wedding. Corberu, welcome. <laughs> Greeting, friends. <laughs> Siberia is the land of some of my ancestors allegedly could be the land of all of our ancestors uh, are we painting battle bears soon battle bears you want to paint battle bears we've already got tactical turtles now you want battle bears or did I did I say battle bears? Was that one of the things I said about making all the cards or something like? I like I totally do that for a while. I would like instead of doing uh, well, I'd still do painting goo, but like instead of doing stuff out with a hat or going to locations or like doing an idea from somebody in the chat, um, I'll just design a load of bear cards and we'll call it uh, battle bears or something like. I totally do that. Uh, my mind at the moment is focused on the painting goo t-shirt paint paint uh, the tactical turtles and the tactical turtle t-shirt paint paint and wait for it paint paint um, I have a new symmetrical in the works so that's going to be going on various things like hoodies and t-shirts and stuff like that so I have like three or four things that I'm working on on the monkey I'm trying to, I'm trying to make uh, the monkey for the piano, the prop piano for the stream. Still haven't, like, I've got the clay out. It's sitting on the bed, but I still haven't gotten around to it, like. But I have a, I have a fairly vivid image in my mind of what I, uh, I'm gonna give him a little top knot, like I, like I have. It's gonna be hilarious. Um, like I'm kinda, I want him to be like a plump, like a small orangutan. I don't know what, I don't know what, like, species or breed of monkey it would be. Like, not an orangutan, but, like, not a bonobo. Like, not a spider monkey. Like, like a mix between a spider monkey and an orangutan. So, like, a miniature orangutan. That's what I want him to be. Um, a girl I know won't go out to eat by herself if I'm meeting her. She, <laughs> she'll wait in a parking lot till I arrive. Right, like, women are just fucking crazy. But they're not. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's... They'll bitch and moan all the time. Like, women these days, anyway. About, like, you know, oh, equality. And, like, I can do anything a man can do. And, like, well, all, all the really fucked up women say shit like that, anyway. Fucking feminist lunatics. But, uh, there's plenty of bitches that just know that they're women. And they're totally okay with being women. And, like, they'll say shit to you, like... You know, uh... Like we're, we said on before in the stream, it's like, uh... I'm at a friend's place. Got to be quiet right now. <laughs> no worries. Thanks for dropping by. <coughs> I love that shit. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing something. I can't be seen watching your stream right now. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Yeah, but like there there's stuff with like females where like they'll just... It may like it makes sense. Like they have they have much higher levels of anxiety about like stuff where like you know if you can't fuck up or there uh, was it like accountability and responsibility. Like the same reason you have a lot of females that like just seemingly can't take responsibility or accountability accountability for shit. Like it's always like you know it wasn't my fault or like you know but it's not my fault. This it's like well if this hadn't happened or whatever like um. I, like that makes sense to me from their perspective when it's like like it, it may what it, it makes sense from an anxiety point of view you know like if they're more susceptible to social anxiety then it makes sense why some women don't like 
ordering stuff over the phone because there's a high probability for like fucking something up and then being responsible for fucking it up and then you know other people not getting what they want as a, as a result of you fucking up you know which makes sense as to why a lot of women don't work well in like office spaces because then you'd have that like chain of accountability you know and like i've heard the female tell me about stuff like that like you know where it's like <coughs> oh excuse me um people trying to like like in an office space especially females they'll like you know they'll fuck up something or forget to do something and they'll try to just like uh pass it on as somebody else's problem or somebody else's responsibility you know paint paint like i've essentially come to the conclusion that if you're a man and you're with a woman and you're trying to be moral and all this stuff you know trying to live a good life a good true beautiful life i genuinely think you should treat your woman kind of like she's a child you're responsible for her most of the time she shouldn't think for herself <laughs> like like and, it, and like women would hear that and they go fucking crazy but like a simple example is it's like every morning every morning without fail the female will go i don't know what i'm gonna wear i don't like i don't know what to wear for work like do you know what i mean and like obviously uh, all of us like males if if we're in that scenario we just throw on a t-shirt and fucking trousers or jeans or whatever and we go to work you know or if we need our work clothes whatever you know whether they're clean or not you know like it's like fucking i'm going to work um the fe like the female brain just gets like choice paralysis and it's just like i don't know what i'm gonna wear i have to wear something but i don't know what i'm gonna wear and now i have to spend fucking 25 30 minutes like figuring out what i'm gonna fucking wear and like <laughs> it's like she probably would benefit from like you know me just going wear this and this and go you know <laughs> like and like alleviating of her of the responsibility of that decision like do you know what i mean like like sometimes like it's not like i dress the female but like there's been times where she does like the whole catwalk thing in front of me while i'm sitting there you know playing a video game chilling out or something like and she'll just like put on multiple different fucking things and like <laughs> i'm just like no that doesn't go with that no, that looks weird. No, you're not wearing that. <laughs> you know, like, and like, it's like she needs it. Like, she's like, what about this and this and this? And like, and I need that in a different way. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I bounce ideas off her all the time. Like, the amount of times I've been driving in the car and I, uh, I, uh, get into a back and forth with her about like uh, do you think this would work in a storyline for a character or whatever like this like you know the next thing you know I have an entirely new set of ideas because I'm like bouncing them off or like it's it's the same but not you know it's different but same turtleneck you lose a lot of heat in the neck <laughs> How, it's so funny right uh i'm doing tactical turtles the last few weeks and like d designing them drawing them and uh then i watch archer and he's got like his tactical turtle neck you know and then i was playing hitman uh over the weekend and one of the costumes that you could get is the tactical turtle neck <laughs> Uh, one of the one of the turtles I wanted to design was a turtle in a turtleneck, you know, with a silence pill with a silence pistol like or something like and maybe like Sam Fisher goggles or some shit like, you know, I don't know, like like I, I'm still uh I'm still what's the term? I'm still I'm still like uh fle trying to flesh out the designs of uh, of some of the turtles. Cuz I don't know you know, like some of my sketches I'll look at them and I'll be like, oh, that's like that's that's a that's an excellent image, you know. But then some of my sketches, because I'm trying to work something out in my mind instead of just going with the flow, some of my sketches are very, you know, like they're terrible looking, they're messy and they're all over the place and the proportions aren't correct and all this shit. Like, but that's like I I need to do that. Well, I don't know if it's just me, but like I think that that happens in in character design or design in general, where like the more iterations of an idea you just like throw out you'll eventually like uh you know you get like a higher the, the more iterations of something you do 
you achieve like a higher resolution of like in general what the thing is supposed to be so you get like you start to form an image out of multiple images of like okay this works this doesn't i should do it at this angle not that angle this helmet's better than that helmet but there's aspects of that helmet that i like so i should like you know go for a midway between the two or some shit like it's not just like it's not just art like it would be design in general you know or even like if you're like talking about tactical shit trying to figure out war and stuff there's many aspects of life that could that that thought process could be applied to where you just spitball and do as many like iterations as you can muster and then look at them all and be like okay what parts of each individual one work and then we work towards the ultimate version, you know, the final form, if you if you would, if you will. Uh, I'd buy a turtleneck for sure. If I can, if I can put the tactical turtles on a turtleneck on Teespring, I will do that. I swear to God. Um, oh, I already took white out. Why right. What bitch do I want? This a bitch. Let's get this a bitch wet. Um, we only went on a two day honeymoon back to the farm now brief a brief honeymoon like like I know like people want to have a nice honeymoon and shit but like come on you're married now I mean like isn't the fuck it, isn't the rest of your life now like your honeymoon <clears throat> that's what I like like I know couples fight and I like I fucking fight with the female regularly still like um, it's, it's like like, obviously, like, the rest of your fucking married life isn't supposed to be just, like, lavender and roses and fucking soft pillows and shit, like, do you know what I mean? But it's, like, that, that, that just, like, the melancholy of, like, losing someone, you know, it's, like, it's a choice, you know? It's all a fucking choice. The more, the more you, be, you come to that level of awareness, that level of consciousness where, like, your emotions... Or not your emotions. How your emotions affect you are a choice. Especially as a male. Paint, paint. Women do, still do have free will, but I genuinely do think and have ob observed um, that females are far more susceptible to their emotions and far more susceptible to pathological behavior. As a result of their heightened emotions, um, and I think that's why they've feminized a load of males to make males like that. I've suffered from a bit of that, you know, uh, with my anger. Like I think that's I think my my undisciplined uh, my my undisciplined shall we say approach to handling my anger uh, I would now describe as feminine you know because like that's that's what it is when I like freak out and punch something or smash something or like you know fuck's sake and like lose my shit um, it is it's it's a feminine it's chaotic you know like it's not feminine in the sense of like, oh look at you little bitch. Well on a level it is, because if like if you can't control your anger, you kinda are a bitch, you know? And I've I've had this like seriously struggle with that because it's like the connection between somebody calling you a bitch and somebody uh, uh, like, you know, and it being correlated with you being a coward is like really strong in today's world. It's like you a pussy, you a bitch is basically like you're a coward, you know? But like it is and it isn't. Like, I've been a pussy-ass bitch in certain aspects of my own personality in, in the like, in, in the context of dealing with my anger. Like, my anger has ruled me like a bitch, you know? But there's, like, almost, almost every other aspect of my life, I'm, like, really stoic and, like resilient and like you know like all of these quite noble or like positive properties or uh, 
what would it be the term? Like aspect, uh, aspects or traits, you know. But my anger, my anger has like ruled me and like defeated me multiple times. Um, no, you can't even order a feckin' pizza, like. <laughs> Yeah, whatever is kind of clean and go. Yeah, like I'm, like I'm, I, I, I'm like that. I've had just like a pile of clothes, and shit. Like you know, and if I've only worn something once, I'm like, yeah, that's grand. Like unless it's like legit, like covered in mud or blood or shit or something. Like do you know what I mean? Like it has to be like filthy or dirty for me to be like, oh no, that needs to go in the wash. Like if I just put it on and then wear it for a day and then take it off. And it doesn't get like adversely, uh, what's the, what, what would be, uh, tarnished or fucking, you know, fucking, uh, ah, uh, the, the word is like on the tip of my tongue. Mired, you know, what's like, like a fancy word for dirtied? Sullied! If it hasn't been sullied at all, then, um, yeah, if it don't stink, it's good to go. <laughs> Like that rule of just picking something up and going, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I would pay good money for a tactical turtleneck with an image of a tactical turtle wearing a tactical turtleneck on it. <laughs> and so, like, part of me is like, like I don't expect you all to buy like loads of t-shirts and hoodies. Like, do you know what I mean? He's gonna kind of fucking end up with a wardrobe full of fucking defender designs. Not that that would be a bad thing for me, but like, you know, I don't want to be like, you know, oh, here's another thing you can buy, and here's another thing you can buy, and here's another thing you can buy. Like, do you know, it's like, I'm going to fucking bleed you dry in months. Um, So like, will I do, will I do the one t-shirt slash turtleneck slash hoodie uh, with like nine of them on it, you know, on the, on the front and then on the back or something. I don't know, like, um, or will I do like, cause I could, I could, I could do nine iterations of like the tactical turtle thing where it could like it could just be one big one, say tactical turtle and then the type, you know, commando, artillery, sniper, so on and so forth. Like, I think tactical turtles and nine of them is the way to go. And I'll try and just make sure that. You know, like the one with the turtleneck. Maybe the one with the turtleneck, you know, should go on his own on the turtleneck. I don't know. Like, it's like all I know is like when I when I do something and I'm like, yeah, that's brilliant. It's like it has to be done, you know. But then it takes it could take me weeks or months to get around it around to it because I've got so many other projects going on at the same time. Like, like I really want to do that comic book redhead, but like I can't. I can't. I literally can't afford to do it right now. I have to do the stuff that I know will earn me money in the meantime to be able to, you know, build this infrastructure or business that I have that I'm growing. Like the, you know, the YouTube channel, the stream, the like. I want to do other stuff apart from painting goo and have like, you know, just me doing a symmetrical or me me designing the turtles. Like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try and get camera angles. That are like not just comfortable for me to do, but also ones that I don't have to like set up repeatedly. Um, because sometimes it could take like fucking 15, 20 minutes to like rearrange everything and get the right angle for an over the shoulder look at me drawing a fucking turtle <clears throat> and then have to rearrange everything again for the fucking stream and it can be a pain in the hole. Like, um, before I had kids, I used to get smashy. With inanimate objects, very gamma. Glad I could, glad I could see through that now. Like, oh man, like I, I like I probably would be like that. Like, if if there was children around, like you know, I would just walk like walk off somewhere and like try and blow off steam by like just going for a long walk. Um, but I do get like that, like when I'm just like in the moment and shit like that. Like I did, like I flipped out recently enough and like. It's fucking put me hand through something like and I was just like fuck's it like I have an incredible amount of shame uh, in the aftermath of me like losing my losing my shit 
I'm always like, damn it, again. Like, I fucking, I got so angry and frustrated that, like, I turn into an animal, you know? Because that, like, that's what it's, that's what I'd compare it to. is like, fucking, it's not even, like, Hulk smash. It's more like, uh, it's, it's more like, you know, the pagan myth of like all of a sudden i just like turn into a werewolf and fucking <laughs> like i'm not i'm not thinking it's like there's no there's no logic goes out the window and just any like impulsive thought that comes out, i turned into a nigger or to like that's what happens to me when i get really angry is i just transform into my like to the <laughs> the nigger inside me <laughs> and i just like freak the fuck out like and then after like that's actually one of the things that's like uh, adversely affected my health um and i didn't think it i didn't think it, uh, it it could do that um but i suppose like you know i'd heard of stuff like that like even fucking remember that episode of simpsons where like homer's getting like lumps on his neck from uh, from stress and shit like i didn't know you could uh, develop an uh, an allergic reaction I didn't know you could develop an allergy to cortisol. Uh, like, that's the thing. You can develop an allergy. Your body and your nervous system like can develop like an adverse reaction to an overload or over, uh, overstimulus of, you know, these hormones and chemicals that come up when you're happy or sad or depressed or, you know, really angry or, like, really aroused. Or, like, uh, that's where you get all these, like, fucked up people who are, like, have like weird fetishes and like people like me who have like uh anger issues you know like i don't have any fetishes i'm not i'm not uh i'm not traumatized or uh weird in a sexual way as a result of my early life i am traumatized and weird in a fucking like i have wrath and like what else, what else would i uh I don't know. Yeah, mainly wrath. Like I had a bit of lust for a while, but I've been with like I've been with like the female for so long now. You know, been together fucking I think like eleven years now or some shit. Like, I I don't get that. You know, like I did in the sense that I used to I used to consume porn, and very early on in the relationship, I still kind of like uh, I was promiscuous in the sense that like I would go out and drink, and end up kissing another woman or something like you know girl lady like at the time when i was still a teenager or some shit like um but even then it was like i like i would tell the female i'd be like i fucked up i'm sorry <laughs> you know like i could i'm not the type to like cheat and like keep it uh keep it a secret i can't do that like if i if i if i do something i know to be wrong i have to tell someone <laughs> you know like but like i don't tell I don't think like, you know, oh, I must tell my priest or anything like, you know what I mean? Because I'm not religious. Like, I tell the people involved. <laughs> like, like, I pro like I am that type of guy that like, you know, if I fucking, if I accidentally like shot a hostage, I'd be like, my bad. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> that's, that's me. Sorry. Like, even though in that context, it could be like, you know, your ass. Like, you know what I mean? They might turn around and shoot you then because like, you're like a liability because you're like, fucking shit up like do you know what I mean? but like, i'd have to be like i'm sorry it was me <laughs> i did that shit like i can't like the guilt and the shame gets to me like which i think is how it's supposed to be like you know i have shame i have guilt um not on a constant basis but like i i have that within me to be like you know oh no i, I did wrong there and like a lot of people don't that's what like you have all these people who are like it's not my fault it's the demons and the and the cookies I blame the cookies. I blame the cookies and I blame the demons and I blame the porn and I blame society and I blame the government and I blame my mother and my father. Like, that's... I was like that for a while where, like, I blame my ma and I blame me da uh, for, like, just fucking up my life, you know? It's like, you guys... You guys fucked up, you know? Like, do, like coming from a divorced home and all, it's like, no matter what way you spin that shit, like, even if they get divorced really amicably and like you know they both find another partner fairly quickly and it's very stable financially like even then it's still fucking weird you know there's still loads of like drama there's still loads of emotion involved and mine wasn't that at all mine was traumatizing abrupt they didn't talk to each other my my mother fucking spiraled and like you know basically went psycho <laughs> like 
and like that's just me you know so like if there is like eight billion fucking people in the realm imagine like you can you can begin to create a very like rational logical map of why things are so bad in certain ways everybody's just traumatized by shit like um, I, like I'm always fucking I wish I could like tick comments that I've already read or some shit <laughs> uh, that's on me guys that one was my bad like yeah like could you imagine like you fucking like you're, you're like your, your heist boss turns around to you and is like uh, you know Get get rid of the security guards, but like make sure you don't hurt the hostages or something. Like you like you know you put put one of the back of the securo's head and accidentally put one of the back of like the female cashier or some shit. Like you know, and you're just like, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> like, I think that would be a really funny idea for a movie where like you have these like really serious like really dark scenes where like you know there's like a bank robbery or, or like you know fucking you know just like you know gritty violent crime is afoot but like some kind of plucky you know hero <laughs> is kind of wrapped up in all of it on the bad side like do you know what I mean? it's like he's he repeatedly shows that he has a good heart but he's like part of a cartel he likes you know I mean? like you can imagine him like <laughs> cutting off the head cutting off the head of a corpse to like throw it over a bridge, like do you know what I mean? And like he's like processing what he's doing, like do you know what I mean? He's like, Oh god, this sounds horrible. Just like and then you get to the bone on the neck and you're like, Ah oh, oh god, it's like oh. <laughs> it's like his his first time doing everything as being part as being part of the crime world, like do you know what I mean? <laughs> You could do some hilarious scenes. It's like, hold on, we're just gonna cut him up. Like, yeah, that's what we do. And you're like, boom, with a machete. And you're like, oh, oh, that's like so violent, man. <laughs> like, like pure like hipster stoner is like born into the world of the cartel and like has to learn how to do all this mad off the wall stuff. Like, it'd just be fucking hilarious. Like. Uh, I know a guy who blames the cookies. Sometimes we all blame the cookie. You know, like, I fucking... I, I seriously wish I could, like... I Like, I eat... In my opinion, I eat, like, quite a lot every day. But I'm, like, trying to eat more now. I find that insane. And, like, I've had two hernias. And, like, I think it's because, like, you know, of internal issues. Could be postural as well. But I got the first one when I was eight. So I don't think that's the case. But, like... I, I have I have pains if I eat like if I stuff myself I can't just sit there and be like oh I'm stuffed I start to get like really uncomfortable and especially now that I've had like a second hernia surgery I can feel if I eat too much food I can feel uh the uh what would you call the stitches I can feel the the metal stitches the metal wiring that they left in to like make sure that I like healed uh shut there's like what the the bit where the the hole in my abdomen or uh, where the uh, small intestine or large intestine or whatever was pushed out a bit you know they sewed that shut and then they had like uh was it dissolvable stitches around it i think or on the outside but then they had like a proper like metal stitch on the inside and i had to get them to shade i had to get them to snip a bit of that off i told the story before um but I, I had that done like while I was awake. They just put me on a bed and they cut my fucking like recently done hernia surgery. Like they, they cut it open to get at the inside stitches to snip a bit off them. Because basically they did this like thing where there was two bits of like wire sticking up like this at odd angles. And it was protruding out from uh, from the scar. Right. So I could actually feel these two uh, sharp points of like tiny steel wire trying to come out of my skin. <laughs> so I'd, I'd be like, yeah, will you snip that off, please? You know, like, 
And then like while they were while they had me open, while your one had me open, she gave me a local anesthetic, obviously to numb the area. But I was just like lying on the bed with my hands above my head, while this bitch fucking opened me up, and uh, just a just a little bit, you know, like not all the way. And uh, they snipped the excess off, but I can like. I can still get that sometimes. And I like what they, one of the things they said is like, Oh, we don't usually have to worry about this because, uh, most of the patients that come, most, most of the patients that come in are like, uh, have more fat on them. So they actually, like, I remember when they pointed that out. They were like, you're, you're so ripped <laughs> that it's actually going to cause you a problem healing. <laughs> and now I'm like, I'm still ripped, but like, I'm like, un I'm like underway. So that's one of the reasons why I think it still happens now. Is like I don't have like a big layer of fat for the stitches to just like sit in, and when I'm moving around or if I'm bending over or sitting down or whatever, you have this like layer of fat that the stitches are just kind of encapsulated in. Like whereas right now it's just muscle and skin, <laughs> you know. Like so, if I eat too much, oh, some of the pains I get are like you know sharp and like those type of pains where you're like oh something's wrong there like you know and i have to like center myself and be and kind of like sit upright a bit and back and be like oh hold on a minute like and give myself a second like and it doesn't matter like you know if i'm sitting at a table or if i'm like you know eating in bed or if i'm like you know sitting in a lotus position with like trying to eat something out of a bowl like you know, it's like because it's because of where it's situated in my torso it's like an inch above my belly button so it's almost like the center of my being, <laughs> you know, biomechanically has this like small vulnerability now. Like, uh, is this fellow also a giant SDB? Hmm. All right. <laughs> is this cookie blamer you speak of also a giant? Hmm. Hmm. Who is this you speak of? I oh, fucking oh, I want to have a like the female brought home a muffin for me. Right, I'm gonna stick on the raving goo tunes, and I'm gonna leg it real quick and get the muffin that was made for me. I'm going to get my muffin. Hey, my, Charlie, my delicious muffin. Did you hear the one about the herniated demigod who walked into the bar? He ordered, he ordered a beer and mocked the fuck up. Oh, fuck it, hell. The herniated demigod. Insight knows buyers. Foresight knows the ones more likely to respond. I'm more likely to slap you the fuck in the face until you get off my stream! Right, it's time for Ravengu. I'm going to get a muffin. I will return momentarily. Defender ass! Side effect of being engaged to a beautiful female such as mine is the baking. She made the female made a uh, baked um, cheesecake, baked white cheesecake, like vanilla and white chocolate cheesecake. Oh my god! So good. Still not enough though, like, I'm gonna have to get her to make, like, just, just bake a shit ton of stuff and leave it all in Tupperware and I'm just gonna have to eat it all over the coming months and just make myself a fat bastard. And then, do what, like, I wanna do what, uh, Mac did in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and I wanna put on, like, a lot of fat and then get, like, jacked. <laughs> Oh my god.
Oh my god. That is unreal. She put like she put bits of white chocolate in it. R rook, rook at witness the glory of the muffin. Oh my god, it's amazing. Mm. I don't even want to eat all of it right now. I'll save some of it. It's so thick. That is a dense muffin. It tastes like it's packed full of rub. How dare you speak of such delicious things before my lunch break. I'll make you extra hungry. Hunger's good. Hunger drives you forward. Somebody has sent me a raven. Oh, that's unfortunate. The female has much work to do to work up the hours she requires to go on her holiday with her mother. I don't care. I don't care what I said. I'm eating it. I'm eating it now. Oh god. Can you hear how good this is? Mm, Demon Hunter Bear. Is this torturous for you? Because it's utterly delicious for me. Mm. That muffin was epic. Holy fuck. Oh, sip sip to wash down that delicious muffin. Oh my god. <clears throat> I want a cigarette now so bad. But I will refrain. I only have 20 minutes left. So, I can wait. That part of me does have some discipline. Not much, but some. Right. So, the pran. The pran is to paint. <clears throat> to paint that. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> to really test your artistic talent. <laughs> like, paint this. <clears throat> <laughs> like, a, like my own take on that fucking episode of Barney of The Simpsons, like number eight. <coughs> Time to paint. <laughs> a moment while I reply to the female. Reply. Oh God! Painting goo goo. Painting goo goo. Mm, raving goo goo. Raving goo goo. Okay. Let's get some mountains in this bitch before the end of the stream. Position the parrot. <coughs> oh. Usa. The muffin was absolutely delicious. Okay, okay. So I'm thinking mountain. Mountain. Yes, two, mount two mountains for two acre. Two acre has become two mountain. I 
painting Google, painting Google, raving Google, raving Google, madu Google, madu Google. In case you haven't noticed, I, Defender Roof, former god of painting Google, now demi god of painting Google, am raving madu. If you would like to pay for Painting Guru, support Painting Guru, breathe in Painting Guru. Rink in description. Buy some of my merchandise. Ask me to paint you something. Simply worship me at your leisure. No, wait. I'm only a demigod. I'm not worthy of worship anymore. Damn! Right, the way I want to do this is... Okay, I might get some grey in here. Painting. Some white. And then some black. A smidge of brack. Just a smidge. Make some grey. Raving. 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 gig, you know, like an outdoor gig where they set up an arena or something like the speakers and, sh and all that shit. Enjoying the gig, moshing and such. And then of course the band. I'm try and do like a bear that looks like grungy, a bear that looks like Telecaster bear, a bear that looks like Anchor bear. So on and so forth. Get the fuck off my stream! Peasant. Cheesecake will get you there. Ah oh, man, cheesecake is one of my favorite things. One of my favorite things in the world is, uh, in the realm, in the realm, uh, strawberry cheesecake. Particularly strawberry and white chocolate cheesecake. I fast every day until a.m. <laughs> the heart's in the way, I can't see it. <laughs> I hate fasting. <laughs> sit, I've like legit tried to find like certain foods that would fucking, uh, that would just be like, you know, really high fat content and just like eat a load of it and all this. Apparently loads of nuts is good for that. <coughs> oh yeah. We sit in the sun. Raving goo. <laughs>
white. Little squirt. A little, like a, a dab, a dab of brack. Painting, goo, 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 goo. raving, goo, 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 goo. painting, goo, 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 goo. Russian brew to get that starry night vibe. A bit of white, just a wick a bit. What is this? Why do I hear birds chirping? Are you are you chirping again, Tobias, Titus, Beacus, Crowus? I fast every day until 11 a.m. Yeah, well, like so. I, I have done that loads of times, like 11 a.m. Sometimes I don't eat till like fucking... There's been times where I haven't eaten until like 5. And then I have a massive fucking meal and shit. And then sometimes, like this morning... No, not this morning. A few days ago, I got up and made bacon and eggs at like 9. And sometimes that makes me feel great. You know, like... I've, uh, that's one that's one thing that I'm genuinely struggling with the last few years is trying to find like my ideal diet and routine uh, for my genetic composition. Like I still can't like I can't can't believe, but like it, it's fucking hilarious that like when I was like 14 or I think it was 14 or 16, um, I was told by some supposed medical expert um, that I was fucking allergic to chicken and eggs. Not true. At least it seems to be untrue. I avoided chicken and eggs like as much as possible for fucking years because I was told that. And then uh, in the last few years, like when COVID hit and all like, and just before when COVID hit, um, I had like just shall we say, come across different schools of thought with particular things. 
and uh, yeah, I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna like, uh, I'm just gonna see how my body reacts, see if I'm actually allergic, and I could, I, I didn't notice anything. <laughs> I seem fine! <laughs> Cut to me dropping dead all of a sudden. I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, it's just. We live in a time where deception is rampant. But do not allow it to make you bitter or nihilistic. There is much to do. This beautiful realm. So let us do it. Let us do it. Goo 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 Raving goo goo Madu Squirt. Get a bit of brack. Squirt. Denmark Barrow, welcome on to Painting Goo. What did I used to say? Painting Goo Io Coso, Denmark Barrow. <coughs> How are you? <laughs> We find ourselves in Siberia as a result of a request from Two Acre in Dibero. Recently, he has harassed me, begged me, for painting goo to travel to Siberia. Pay homage to the gods of metal. Well, that is what we have decided to do. This coming week, painting goo shall be in Siberia. And we shall witness. Gods of metal. And I will judge them. As I am I a dem I am a demigod, and I my right is to do so. I will judge the fuck out of them. We will see if these metal gods have any real matter. How's that night sky looking? 
Made a bit of purple in there. Made a bit of purple in there. The doctor is in! Indeed. Make some pemmican. Super calorie dense. Pemmican? What the fuck is pemmican? If I had the time for it, I'd love to try my own pemmican. God's, God's protein bar. <laughs> Never heard of this shit. What the fuck is this stuff? Pemmican? Sounds awful. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Mushing. You're not winning. Painting, go, 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 go. Oh God, he's coming back. You're taping up a package for me. Get out of here. Excellent. You bring much honor with you, Denmark Beru. Your Rav for Defenderu, demigod of painting goo, is most appreciated. Yeah, the sky is kind of annoying me. I wanted it to be a bit darker. But, <coughs> got it perfectly. Oh god. Painting goo goo goo. Painting this an advertisement on my streamer how dare you an inskippable one an unskippable one inskippable <coughs> unskippable what's the difference <coughs> i don't know the best way to celebrate all i know is that muffin was fucking delicious and now it's made me very gassy <laughs> i cannot wait to have another muffin <laughs> I demand to know what's going on in my house. I fucking love that bit. It's cool. And it also, like, is, like, a weird kind of, like, wink that, like, I picked that playlist and she says that and I'm doing this stream and the stuff I talk about and all, like, I remember the first time I heard her say that 
I demand to know what's going on in my house. And it's like, that's how all of us feel, in a sense, where we're all like, this is our house. Like, the world, the, the realm we live in is like our house at large, like in a, in a macro sense. Like, this is all of our house, you know, collectively. We all live in or on Earth. And, like, that's how a lot of us feel. It's like, what the fuck is going on? I demand to know what the fuck is going on. Like, you know? But it's like, they do have a point when it's like, who are you to demand anything? <laughs> you know? Like, oh, it's hilarious. I need more of a rending between the blue and the purple. dab of white. Just a dab. Smidge. We're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> At last, runch time. Now you're the one making me more hungry. <laughs> oh, fucking I'm still starving after that muffin. <laughs> right, I'm three minutes over my time slot. This concludes today's painting, Goo. I hope you enjoyed, Ingu. I know I did, do. We have a much work to do this week on this matter concert in Siberia. So, I hope you will join me tomorrow. Same time, same place, same high-octane painting energy. In the meantime, I wish you farewell and much blessings upon you and your family. Be good, be true, and be beautiful. And if you have any honor, you will be here tomorrow and you will pay for painting, Goo! But anyway, God bless, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ta, farewell, enjoy your lunch. I'm about to go feed myself. You are much welcome. You're posting it tomorrow? I will eagerly await your package. Oh, that sounded really gay. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. <laughs>